What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the most flavorful homemade chicken pot pie. So I'm going to run down all the ingredients that you are going to need to make this chicken pot pie. So here I have some already made pie crust. If you're in the mood to make your own, feel free to do so. I got some butter. This one here is unsalted but you can also use salted butter. I have a seasoning blend here which will be listed in the description below along with everything else. I have one egg, I got some flour, I have one russet potato. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut that for this dish. I have some shredded rotisserie chicken here. It's a mixture of dark and white meat. I got some milk, some diced yellow onion, and a little bit of celery that's gonna make the flavor pop in this dish. This is optional. If you're not a fan of celery, you can totally omit this. Then I have some frozen peas and carrots, and back here I got some chicken stock. All right guys, so without further ado, we're gonna get into making this dish. Let's do it. All right guys, so to begin with, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly cut this potato for this dish. So you just wanna hold it the long way. And just go in about a half of an inch. See that? That's perfect. So we're gonna do the entire potato that way. You don't want your pieces to be too big you don't want them to be too small because when you cook them, you don't want them to end up turning into mashed potatoes in your dish as it cooks. Okay. So this is the perfect size. Okay. So now I'm just going to stack them. Well, not the bottom part because it's too round. I'll do that part separately. Just stack them. Now we're going to turn it to the side. Okay, so this is the perfect size that you want your potatoes to be. Let me give you a closer look and I'll show you two at a time so you can see it better. Okay, so I'm going to do this one off of camera and then we'll head over to the stove so we can start making our filling for this pot pie. All right, guys, so to begin with, we're going to start by boiling our potatoes for about five to six minutes until they are fork tender. You don't want to go past that because we're not cooking them to become mashed potatoes. We're cooking them to where they are still firm and it still has a bite to it because they're going to cook again inside of the oven. So I'm going to add these to some water that's already been preheated, which will help speed up the process. Okay, so I'm going to let these go for about five to six minutes, like I said, until they are fork tender. And then you want to take them out and set them aside so that they can cool. All right, so now we're going to go in and we're going to melt our butter. And you want to make sure that it's melted completely. All right, so the butter is completely melted. Now I'm going to go in with our onion and celery. And you just want to cook these down until they are slightly translucent. about a minute or so all right so this is perfect right here now I'm gonna go in with our flour just want to mix that around and let this part right here go for about 30 to 40 seconds you just want to cook that flour taste out by adding the flour this is what's going to help thicken up our filling mix another 10 seconds for this and you just want to keep moving around so that it doesn't clump up Okay, so that's about it right there. Now we're gonna go in with our chicken stock. And it's okay to use uh, chicken broth if that's what you have. That is totally fine. I'm just gonna add half of that now. This is beautiful, look how it's coming together. This brings back childhood memories for me. <laughs> Eating uh, Marie's calendar. What was that other one? Oh, the banquet <laughs> chicken pot pie. Those used to be so good. But now that I know how to make my own, I will never buy those again. 
And hopefully, with you following this recipe, you won't either. Okay, so that's enough of that right there. Wow, guys, this smells so good. Oh, my God. Look how creamy this is. All right, guys, so this is the perfect consistency for this stage right here. So now we're going to go in with our whole milk. Just want to stir this around to make sure that there aren't any clumps of flour, which at this point there shouldn't be, but you still want to make sure. All right, so now I'm going to let this come to a slight boil, and then we're going to add in all of our vegetables and our chicken and our seasoning. It's been about five minutes, and our sauce is where it needs to be, and it smells amazing. So let me show you the consistency that it's supposed to be right now. See that? It's supposed to be just like that, okay? So now what I'm going to do is start adding in everything. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add in our seasoning blend. Let's mix that in there. Mmm. I think I could eat it just like this. It smells that good. Okay, so I'm going to give this a little taste to make sure that our seasonings are on point. Wow. Mmm. All right now, we don't need to add anything else. That is perfect right there. All right guys, so now at this point, you wanna turn your fire off because you are no longer going to be cooking this and everything else that's gonna be added in it doesn't need to be cooked because remember, you're gonna place this in the oven. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab our chicken. We're gonna just fold that in. Now we're gonna go on with our peas and carrots. We're gonna mix that in. Guys, doesn't this look amazing? Oh my God. Okay, I wanna get this part here mixed in all the way because when I add the potatoes, we're not gonna stir that. We're gonna fold that in so that they don't break up. Wow, oh my God, this looks so good. <laughs> Marie Calendar who? <laughs> Banquet who? <laughs> All right, guys, so here are our potatoes. I'm going to add those in. Remember, like I said, fold it in. You don't want to have any mushy potatoes in this dish. And guys, at this point, it's also safe to have your oven preheated at 350 degrees. Mm-hmm. That is the perfect consistency. That filling is done, guys. Let me give you a close-up. Just look at that filling, guys. This is hearty and flavorful. And trust me, you're never going to eat that frozen stuff again. All right, so let's get our pie shells together and add our filling. All right, guys, so now what we are going to do is we're going to take our already made dough, and we're just going to roll it into this pan here. We want to make sure that it touches against the pan. Don't leave any space in between the pie crust and whatever dish that you're using. Okay? Push it all the way up against it. Okay? Now what you're going to do, you're going to take the fork and you're going to poke some holes all throughout the bottom of it. So that it doesn't bubble up when the heat hits it. And you also want to do the sides, just like you're making a regular pie. You want to do the same thing for this type of uh, pie. And no, the gravy isn't going to seep out of it. <laughs> okay, now we can add the filling. And guys, let me give you a heads up. Because I'm not using a deep pie dish, this recipe is going to make two regular pie size chicken pot pies. But if you're using something big or something rectangular, this filling will be enough for just one dish. Okay, so now we're gonna take that good old filling that we just made, place it into the dish. Let's make sure we move it around. Now we're gonna take the second pie crust and we're just gonna roll that out as well. Right on over it. 
See how easy that is? So now you want to take both pie crusts where they meet and fold them in. Just tuck them in. This right here prevents any of the filling from leaking out. So you just want to tuck that. Then later on, make a design. But right now, this is what you need to do. Just make sure it's tucked down in. Just give it a gentle press, nothing crazy. Just to seal it, like I said, so none of your filling comes out. During this baking process, trust me, you don't want that. Now at this point, you could pretty much do whatever design you choose. Me, I'm just gonna leave mine just like this. That's good enough for me. So now after you finish making your design of your choice, you wanna slit some holes in this. And you wanna spread it out just to give it some breathing room. Don't worry, it's not gonna end up like this after it's baking process because this crust is gonna to come together. But you have to create some ventilation for this to bake properly or else this is just gonna explode in your oven. And you don't want that. So just move it around. When you're doing this, make sure you're using a sharp knife so that it goes right through your pie crust. You don't wanna tear it. And the reason for using a sharp knife is so that you don't tear your pie crust. Okay guys, so that right there is perfect. So now we're gonna add our egg wash to the top of this. I've already beaten it and I added a teaspoon of water. You just wanna Go over your pie crust. You don't have to be too heavy handed with this either. This is just a light brush. Okay, and we're gonna hit the, the crust very lightly. Nothing crazy. All right guys, so this is ready for the oven. So I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, y'all, our chicken pot pie is fresh out of the oven. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that, guys, you can't go wrong with that. All right, so I'm gonna let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before we dig in. All right, y'all, so I am back with our finished chicken pot pie dish. Tell me that doesn't look good. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. I feel the same way. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna cut into this so we can give it a taste. Wow, guys, that crust is so flaky. Look at this, guys. That looks amazing. All right, let's push this to the side. I don't know if you guys can still see the steam, but it's still very hot. So I'm gonna go in for the taste test. All right, first bite goes to you, now to me. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, I have to go back in, guys. That was so delicious. Everything works perfectly together. The potatoes held up perfect. The peas and carrots are mushy. The chicken is the perfect texture. And the flavor is perfect. The crust is flaky. Lots of flavor. Guys, I hope that you give this recipe a try. Trust me, you won't go wrong. You will never buy frozen pot pie from out of the frozen section in your favorite grocery store ever again. All right, guys. So let me give you guys a close-up of what it's looking like on the inside. You see how flaky that crust is? 
and how hearty the filling is. It's not runny. It's not soupy. It's the perfect texture for a homemade chicken pot pie. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, comment below, and definitely turn on your notification bells so you can be notified next time that I post a video. See you in the next video.